Nikola Jokic, the MVP of the 2020-21 season, is one of the most electric centers in the NBA right now. He's been playing his heart out for his team and has led them to a strong regular season run. As attention around the center continues to rise, there are still a lot of things unknown about the 7-footer. In this video, we'll be telling you more about the player as we go through the top 10 things you didn't know about Nikola Jokic. Number 10. Jokic's older brother is an amateur MMA fighter. One of Nikola's older brothers, Nemanja Jokic, is actually an amateur MMA fighter. With no professional career on record, he's been training MMA and has even won an amateur fight in Loveland. The fiery passion of both his brothers was definitely on display when their younger brother got into an altercation with the Phoenix Suns' Devin Booker. Both the brothers looked like they were absolutely ready to go at it against Booker. They were jumping in their seats, fuming. Well, Devin Booker better watch out before Nemanja wants to fight him. Number 9. Jokic played for a team which was owned by his agent. As we all know, the Joker was discovered by accident, as Raznatovich, his future sports agent, found his stats in the newspaper and saw a similar stat line the next week, and decided to check him out. A lesser known fact about Jokic and his agent is that he signed Jokic to his own team, Mega Vizura. When he was discovered, he was an 18-year-old center with extraordinary height, but he was in pretty bad shape physically. The future NBA MVP looked as if he had been solely surviving on Coca-Cola throughout his entire life. He wasn't even allowed to practice with the first team the first month because he was in such bad shape, he couldn't even do one push-up. I'm sure that if anyone were to point out that in 8 years, this player is going to be the MVP of the biggest basketball stage in the world, people would have laughed at them. However, Nikola proved to be an integral asset to the team as he posted up amazing performances in the playoffs. Number 8. Jokic was once fined for homophobic comments. Back in October of 2018, after the Bulls were defeated by the Nuggets, Jokic was asked about Wendell Carter Jr. and said, No homo, but he's longer than you expect. This was meant to be a joke on Jokic's behalf, but the NBA didn't think so and fined him $25,000 for his remark. The NBA's been consistent on this issue and punishes players for using homophobic language. Roy Hibbert was fined $75,000 in 2013 for using the same phrase, in addition to calling the media mother Two years later, Jokic was in another interview and almost said the same phrase again, but caught himself in the middle and stopped. After the Nuggets win over the Jazz, Jokic discussed Rudy Gobert and said he's amazing, at least first of all, and then he's moving his feet well. He's long, so I'm not going to say so close. He then laughed and told the camera how he's not going to make that remark again. I'm sure that with a hefty bill of $25,000, Jokic would think twice before using this phrase again for the rest of his life. Number 7. Both of his brothers are former players. After Devin Booker and Jokic's altercation in Game 4 of the conference semifinals, all of us have taken a good look at the older Jokic brothers. They both look like absolute beasts, and if someone were to give them a profession at first glance, they'd certainly choose boxing or fighting. However, both of the brothers are former players, and are responsible for their younger brother falling in love with the game as well. Nemanja is actually a former Division I player. The 6'6 six six brother played college basketball at the University of Detroit Mercy. Featuring in 29 of the Titans' 30 games as a freshman, Nemanja is described as a skilled big man who could hit shots from the outside, much like Nikola. Strahinja Jokic is the bigger of the two brothers and has experience playing basketball in Europe. He's not that talented, Nikola once said, but he hates to lose. Nikola even compared his brother's game to that of NBA champion turned ESPN analyst Kendrick Perkins. It's lovely to see that both brothers are now regulars of the Pepsi Center, and can often be seen cheering for Nikola from the sidelines. However, from time to time, Strahinja can get wound up, even punching chairs on occasion, such as the Game 4 versus the Suns just now. Apparently, he gets it from their dad, who's really passionate about watching the games. He screams, yells, nobody sits around him, Nemanja says of his father. Number 6. His brother went to jail. Back in October 2019, Jokic's oldest brother, Strahinja Jokic, was arrested for allegedly choking and pushing a woman. According to the reports, Strahinja had apparently been drinking that night and was with a woman in a Denver apartment. The woman tried to leave the apartment, but Jokic shoved her and wouldn't let her leave, the report said. The woman then went to the balcony to yell for help, but Jokic allegedly grabbed her and choked her, according to the police. He reportedly told the woman that he would choke her until she fell asleep. 
The woman tried to call 911, but Jokic took away her phone as well. After that, the report said that she was able to use a computer to send a message to someone she knew, and that person then called police. The Denver District Attorney's Office accepted a charge of second-degree assault, a felony, and two misdemeanors, false imprisonment, and obstruction of phone service against Jokic. However, court records show that Strahinia pleaded guilty in February 2020 to a misdemeanor count of obstruction of phone service and felony trespassing. The other charges against him were dismissed. He received a deferred sentence, meaning he won't face any penalties as long as he follows the rules of unsupervised probation and he doesn't commit another crime before February 3rd, 2022. Number 5. The Joker was the youngest player in Rio Back in 2016, the Serbian national team won the silver medal at the Rio Olympics 2016 after they only lost to the USA. On this team, Nikola Jokic played a very important role and led the team all the way to the finals where he was overpowered by the NBA stars on the USA team. While being the most important player on the team, Nikola Jokic was also the youngest player on that team. This shows his massive talent that despite being the youngest on his team, he still put on the best performances for them. Number 4. He's a big fan of the show Friends as fans, we sometimes don't acknowledge that the players that we see playing basketball day in and day out are also human beings living normal lives with normal habits. They also go to their houses to sit in their couches and binge watch shows on Netflix all day long, such as the example of the Joker. Jokic said in an interview that he's a big fan of the American TV show Friends, and that he's rewatched it several times. He also said that his favorite character was Joey, and that it's his go-to show for when he wants to watch something while eating. I'm sure many of us can relate there with him as Friends is a heartwarming show for all of us. But sadly, all of us can't live the life Jokic is living. Number 3. Nikola Jokic Married His Childhood Sweetheart Back in 2020, the Denver Nuggets Center married his longtime girlfriend, Natalia. The couple had been together since 2013 and tied the knot in a private wedding ceremony in the Serbian city of Sombor, Jokic's hometown. Natalia and Jokic have been together since high school when both of them were 18 years old. His wife is a psychology degree holder from the Metropolitan State University in Minnesota. It was reported that the couple originally planned to get married in June of 2020, but the wedding ceremony was delayed due to the COVID-19 pandemic. The reception in Sombor was also heavily guarded and with few guests. A couple of photos from the ceremony and of the lovely couple were shared on Jokic's official Instagram. Number 2. He led the Nuggets in PER and win shares his rookie season. The player efficiency rating, PER, is an all-in-one basketball rating. It basically combines all of the player's stats in a single number. PER measures the player's per-minute performance while adjusting for pace. The league's average is 15, which permits comparisons of player performances across seasons. During his rookie year, Nikola Jokic had the highest PER and win shares throughout the season. Win shares are the contribution of an individual to the whole team's success. This is an impressive stat for a rookie who had just joined the team and hadn't even adjusted to the system yet. Number 1. Jokic thought joining the NBA was a dream Imagine waking up to find out you'd been selected to play professional basketball in the NBA. That's exactly what happened to Nikola Jokic. He wasn't even selected in the first round of the draft, so he went to sleep. When his draft pick was announced, the TV was playing a Taco Bell commercial, and it had a small graphic at the bottom which announced that the Denver Nuggets had drafted Nikola Jokic as the 41st overall pick. When this happened, Jokic's brother woke him up to tell him the news. At this, his reaction was to just hang up the phone and dismiss this all as a dream. I sure would like to have the same dream as Jokic and live it out. I'm sure at the time he wouldn't even dreamt that in five years he'd be the MVP of the league and would lead his team to a conference finals appearance. Which of these facts about Nikola Jokic surprised you the most? Is there something that we missed? Let us know in the comments section below. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel and leave a like on the video.